the person responsible for electronics was British? Let's learn more about the man who made electronics possible. Welcome to Side PK, I'm PK, and today we'll be diving into the life of Sir John Ambrose Fleming, an innovator whose inventions laid the groundwork for modern electronics. Born in 1849 as the eldest of seven children, Fleming supported himself through university as he studied physics and mathematics at London's University College. Despite financial struggles and interruptions, Fleming persevered. Fleming initially studied at London's University College, then moved to the Royal College of Chemistry, taking breaks to teach and work to fund his education. He studied under the renowned James Clerk Maxwell at Cambridge, which gave him a strong foundation in electricity and magnetism. Fleming later worked closely with Thomas Edison and Guglielmo Marconi, contributing greatly to their projects. You can check out the video on Thomas Edison here. Fleming worked with the Edison companies, helping to establish electrical generators and lighting systems in London. His exploration of the Edison effect, where a small current can be detected between the filament and the plate of a light bulb, paved the way for future innovation. In the late 19th century, Fleming joined Marconi's telegraphy company. He designed the Podu Wireless Station, which achieved the first wireless transatlantic transmission in 1901. To improve signal detection and amplification, Fleming developed the first electronic rectifier, known as the vacuum tube or oscillation valve, patented in 1904. This invention marked the birth of electronics and was later improved upon by Lita Forrest and was later used in radios, televisions, and more, even early computers. Fleming chaired the first university electrical engineering department at University College London and later got involved in the early television industry. He devised the right hand rule that we use to this day. The right hand rule helps people understand electromagnetism a lot better and is used in scientific communities to this day. Fleming remained active in the scientific community until his 90s. Fleming received numerous accolades throughout his life, including the Faraday Medal and the Albert Medal, and was knighted in 1929. He passed away in 1945, leaving behind a legacy of innovation and perseverance. Sir John Ambrose Fleming's life story is a testament to brilliance and perseverance combined with curiosity. His work continues to impact our lives to this day through modern electronics. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, share, subscribe for more stories from the history of engineering and science. Thanks for joining us here on SciPK. Stay curious. Groundwork for modern electronics. No, that was so good.